it's my pleasure uh, to nominate uh, Kip Lake for the Mohan Mahathir Singh Excellence Award. He is uh, one of the few in my department uh, who really takes pride in teaching and uh, manpower training, I'll, I'll say that. Uh, Kip Lake teaches a very difficult course, thermodynamics, both at undergraduate and graduate level, and of course the graduate and undergraduate course of tissue engineering. Uh, I have attended his lecture. He is very uh, energetic, he is very interactive. Uh, he uses a lot of cartoons in his lecture. Uh, he knows how to engage students. Uh, he, uh, he gives a lot of daily life examples, uh, which is very much appreciated in course uh, in thermodynamics to explain a lot of concept, difficult concept. Uh, he also, uh, I asked him uh, why students come to your class. Uh, they said that they have reasons to come. And uh, I know what are the reasons because of the way he teaches an interactive way and all. Uh, he is uh, very strict. He challenges good students. His class average still today, after teaching so many years, uh, thermodynamics in the 60s, he failed many students. But if you look at <laughs> if you look at his teaching evaluation numbers, every year he has increased. So he is doing certain things like that. Uh, his uh, research is in cardiovascular tissue engineering. Uh, manpower training is also very active, uh, and that is also acknowledged. Uh, this year, NSERC is one of the highest NSERC discovery, and he also got an accelerated grant. So he's doing in the training of the graduate students also. Uh, he's also our department associate chair for undergraduate studies for quite a few years. Before me, also with Anders Sorov, he was a uh, uh, undergraduate as uh, 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 undergraduate chair for the Assistant Chair for Undergraduate Studies. And he has taken many initiatives in the department and because of his uh, hard working, we have so many new programs. Uh, green Process Engineering we started. Uh, we worked very hard to put things together. Then we had the two plus two uh, international program with Javian University that is now completely approved. We have a certificate program, just like mechanical engineering. We have a certificate program on biotechnology with uh, Bangshaw College, and he has also streamlined many of the current community curriculum uh, restructuring courses and, and all, and which uh, to incorporate with student suggestion and all. And uh, lastly, we had our CAD for green process engineering. We had to do huge report, and we are uh, what he is working now on the chemical report, which is uh, in, in the vein. Uh, so he displayed a scholarship, energy, dedication, skills and really made significant contribution, which is expected out of a good educator. So I'm happy that the awards committee uh, selected him for uh, award this year. very much. Uh, I have to tell you that it really feels special to be here today. Uh, thanks AJ for uh, your introductory comments. Uh, I know that uh, AJ always speaks from the heart, so I'm going to give a lot of values to what he just said. Um, I'm honored to uh, receive the uh, 2011 uh, Mohan Mather Award for Excellence in Teaching. Uh, many thanks to the uh, Teaching Awards Committee uh, at Western Engineering, to the nominating committee and the department, especially for uh, AJ, for writing uh, the long and time-consuming nomination letter. Um, and to uh, uh, the students, more importantly, who has passionately supported my nomination. And if it wasn't for uh, the students' support, I wouldn't be here. Uh, many, many years ago, uh, at least in my time scale, and if you want to know how many, that's uh, uh, when I still had hair. <laughs> I got a phone call from a very soft-spoken person <laughs> that I call Dr. Rohani uh, for a job interview uh, here at Western. At that point in time, I was a postdoctoral fellow at uh, McMaster University in the chemical engineering department. Uh, so uh, uh, he asked me to come for this interview, and uh, he said that I need to prepare two seminars. One is for research, and the other one is for teaching. 
And he also included in that same uh, conversation that I have to tell you that the teaching part will be attended not by students, but by professors. So that kind of scares me a little bit. Uh, so I thought, well, I'm good in my research component because I have presented my PhD work and any postdoctoral um, research work that I have done before. Uh, so I felt fairly comfortable in, in presenting my research, but I have to tell you that the teaching part was really nerve-wracking. Uh, how am I gonna prepare this thing and how do I perform and, and all that. So then I needed to practice, just only for the teaching. Um, so uh, I needed one person who could actually come into the classroom, at one of the classrooms at McMaster University, and actually peer reviewed my practice. So I invited my wife, <laughs> who is here today. <laughs> so off we went into uh, one of the classrooms in the uh, first floor, uh, and you know those classrooms very well. So she's sitting there, seemingly understanding everything that I was saying, as I was just moving from one corner of the classroom to another corner of the other classroom, feeling increasingly confident about what I'm talking. And finally, I thought I nailed this thing down. So I said, what do you think? She said, you were running without me. So that took quite a bit of uh, a heat on me. Because I thought I was really, really doing fine until she actually mentioned those things. So that contributed to my uh, teaching philosophy, or one of my teaching philosophies, and that is there is really no point for me to run alone with any material that I'm presenting in the classroom unless the students are running with me, because that's, that's important to me. Uh, this would mean uh, engaging students with the topic and relating uh, the subject matter uh, using simple daily life experiences, and for that reason I use a lot of cartoons, which seems to be quite popular with students, uh, but I bring them to, to the subject uh, that I'm teaching. So I, will, I, I, I try to engage students uh, with the topic and relating the subject in uh, simple daily life experiences uh, so that they can run with me wherever possible. Uh, this way I attempt to do as best as I can uh, to challenge the top students to inspire those students who are not uh, so great in, in, in handling the material, and ultimately I target my lecture notes to the average students. So in that way I feel reasonably comfortable that there is something for everyone to come to class. As I leave each class, I feel positive that I had something for each one of the students, and I acknowledge and understand that Despite my best efforts, sometimes your best efforts may not be good enough. Uh, but I feel good because at least I have given the best that I can. So to me, uh, there is nothing more fulfilling than seeing students striving to make some sense of the materials presented during class. And finally, uh, to see them actually understand. And you can see that in their faces when they nod their head in appreciation and, and when they actually get the material. Other times, obviously, I don't have to give you a lecture that, you know, at them and they feel so confused and lost and obviously then uh, they will start doing their own things, not paying attention to the material. Uh, so I believe that, uh, that we as professors are here uh, largely because students are here and I therefore uh, pay uh, some serious attention to the courses that I do. So I thank you very much for uh, uh, giving me this award uh, and I hope I will do even a better job for the future and a special thanks to, to my wife for uh, telling me that uh, that I was running out on in that uh, in that classroom. Thanks.